Hi, right, I'm out. This is a video. Hello! What we're doing today is we're doing a little bit something special. So today, as of uploading this, it is August 13th. Jump Drive is officially eight years old. Wow, that's old. <laughs> so Jump Drive has been out for a while, and with time, the community has come together and we have created these things. Make our lives easier. Hacks, tools, anything really. And they are extremely, extremely convenient. I'm going to be covering my three favorite ones today, and Woolsey is going to be covering another one that is being cr currently created by HJ Font, as he is well more versed to talk about it. It is a better edit. It is an editor hack. It's currently VIP, so I can't really cover it regardless because it's not fully released yet but once it is released Woolsey is going to be covering it in great great detail so go check him out go subscribe to Woolsey go subscribe to AJ Fod fantastic content creators and fantastic people in general and starting off we're going to be starting off with Mega Hack V6 by Absolute Gamer this has been out for a while it is the one and only hack currently or tool currently that is out that is paid so do keep in mind if you want to have Mega Hack V6 you will have to pull out about five dollars it's not too expensive but if you cannot afford to spend it don't worry about it Mega Hack V5 does have a lot of the same stuff though i'm going to be greatly covering mega hack v6 today so not everything could be fine in mega hack v5 just keep that in mind so with mega hack v6 what you get is by uh if i can grab a keyboard if you click on the tab key we got this little beautiful thing over here the little mod menu that pops down as you've seen in a lot of videos and i'm going to be showing you my personal favorite hacks i'm going to be covering them what they are so on and so forth first of all we have the bypasses over here if you're lazy you don't want to unlock the icons you can just icon bypass right so so if i go here as you can see now i've unlocked everything but if i do that and i go back in i don't normally have everything so these bypasses are pretty easy they're pretty neat as we go to creator some of the most useful ones in my personal opinion is object bypass so that you can go above the eighty thousand limit that robert have set so that if a level has eighty thousand objects or more and you want to place an object or just fix something you can just use that copy hack Copy hack is, in my opinion, probably the most convenient one out of the bunch. So if we go here, we go star rating and search, and we go to like some of the oldest levels, such as, let's go auto play area. This is a very old level, this is ID 3150. This level, oh, it does have a password, never mind. But if you, if you have a level right here that has a password or it doesn't have a copyable at all, you can just use the copy hack and there you go you can just get a free copy of it it's it's that simple it makes it very easy to grab levels if you want to practice something super convenient there's nothing else to say to it it's just super convenient then we get into player hacks player hacks is what i think is the most useful stuff for a person like myself who plays the game I know, it's crazy. Who would have thought player hacks would be the most convenient thing for a player? These are the ones that I use personally. I'm going to be covering a lot of the other ones as well, if you guys want to check it. Accurate percentage. A lot of you guys have been like, hey, yeah, why does it say 100 point X percent? Basically, what accurate percent is, is that when you see here, you can see the, the percent thing. I don't know why it's a zero. Why does it just say zero? What the hell? <laughs> but basically, what accurate percent is, is that it just adds two decimals so you see a bit of more accurate percent it's quite literally in the name as for height attempts as a lot of you guys have noticed i don't have an attempt thing on the side here whenever i play there is no attempts for me if i do this you can see attempt one right with height attempts that i usually use all the time is just not there I use it because I think it looks cleaner. Uh, keep in mind that if you're going to be submitting stuff to Point of Crate, they do have extra things in mind if you do want to submit with hide attempts because it's normally, it's very easy to hide like uh, spliced runs and stuff like this way, right? So keep that in mind if you want to use that. Ignore escape is in my opinion, one of the more convenient ones as a person who has a tendency to, if I die far in a level, I have a tendency to like tap my escape key. I can't exit the level with ignore escape on. So if you want to just keep it in one continuous run, you could just do that very handy then we have stuff like no death effect no flip funny name you guys remember no flip no flip is basically if you enter a mirror portal it just doesn't flip i'm pretty sure that this is considered a hack and people do not generally consider this to be a legitimate completion because it does make the, the gameplay easier so it is technically a nerf no death effect on the other hand i find to be a convenient thing because if you if you see here don't explode and you can tell where you die in a level when you die it looks kind of goofy but it's very convenient these two i find to be probably the most convenient one practice music hack and practice pulse so if we go here and we we play normally we have the regular practice music song we all love it we all god a lot of us hate it the convenient thing here is if we activate practice music hack and we go into this 
we just get the pr we just get the song which makes practicing a lot, lot easier. Very, very convenient, very handy. Highly recommend Practice Music Hack. It's prob- I would say Practice Music Hack alone is worth the money. And we have stuff like Practice Pulse. Basically what it says is that the orbs pulse, that's all in practice mode. And then we get into the universal stuff. So we have Fast Alt Tab here. Arguably the most convenient thing ever is the Fast, fast Alt Tab. You can just like do that and you get into the game immediately. It doesn't really show uh, with OBS because OBS is really bad with GD, but it makes all tabbing into the game much faster. You gotta, you, 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 you just have to like take my word for it here because it doesn't really show on screen. I'm terribly sorry about that. Nothing much I can do about it, but it's very convenient. Use it. Fa fast alt tab is super smart. Then we have lock cursor. Lock cursor is basically just, it doesn't go off the screen. That's all that it is. It's just a lock on screen thing. If you have multiple monitors, you don't have to use it if you don't have multiple monitors. It's just a don't click off the, the game thing. If that makes sense it keeps it within the window and within the border of the actual game so if you play windowed mode as well it's a very convenient thing then we get to start start smart position smart start position or smart position smart position god this thing is fantastic so if we're gonna go into rust here which i've been playing a lot recently i'm gonna delete all start positions right here because why would i as you can see here this is supposed to be a ship three time speed i place my start position here i don't change anything as you can see here it's just cube regular speed I hit play. Oh, look at that. I'm a ship in three times speed, but I didn't change anything. How does that work? Huh? It's just fantastic. I, I, I love it. It's amazing. It's just, it just completes the start position for you. It's such a nice time save. You don't have to go looking around for what game mode or what speed you're supposed to be. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Just use it. Start, smart position is like the most convenient hack that you will ever have for this game, if I'm being completely honest with you. That and the, the music, practice music hack. Wow, beautiful. Love it. Now we get into like some of the other things. A lot of people have seen that people have FPS counters, click per second counters, no clip accuracy and stuff like that, which you can do here. FPS counter, top right, it's pretty convenient. You just get like an FPS counter uh, up in the corner here. If you play, you can see test mode. You can see FPS there, 148. Or you can have click per second counter. So as you get, uh, 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 if you, if you see up in the corner here, you can see like how many times you're you're clicking, that kind of stuff. Then you have icon. You have like RGB stuff if you want like a pastel primary, like so. Oh, look at that my icon is changing colors to like my nice pastel colors it's very cool it's very epic just cosmetic this is all cos cosmetic stuff it's pretty cool it's pretty neat i like it i think it's nice just if you want to check it out check it out it's cool you can also steal icons so if i go for instance here i go to my amazing amazing friends list over here if you go to someone like uh let's do evw uh, i want to steal evw cycles i can just click that button and Wow, I have EVW icons. No way, crazy. They have all of this utility. Now we get into stuff that I think are very, very cool. We have the beautiful, beautiful run info. Run info is beautiful. It's an extension. We have here, we have the extensions folder. So if I pull this out here, here in my uh, folder here, we have the extensions folder. We have invisible dual fix, which is a DLL, and we have run info. Run info is what you've seen a lot in my videos as of late. Uh, if I go into Disturbing Madness here and I go practice, you can see the practice from 0%. That's run info. A lot of people have been asking about it. That is what it is. It's run info. It is an extension for Mega Hack. Find extensions. You click on that. You pull this out and you have run info up here with called by Matt. You just download it, drag it into the extensions folder, and then you have them here. And they're gonna be usable for with Mega Hat. Really convenient stuff. This one is very handy. If you sit a lot in Discord calls with friends, you can have auto deafen. If you have if you pass 80 percent in normal mode, you just it just automatically deafens you. Basically what it does is that it just inputs your keybind for you. So if you have a deafen keybind such as like a uh, control F5 or something, once you hit that percentage and the game registers that you're at that percentage, it just inputs that keybind for you so you don't have to do it yourself. Very convenient, very neat, it's very nice. FPS bypass, just disable VSync, enable FPS bypass and you can choose however FPS you want. For the demons list and for the challenges, max 360 FPS, you can't really go above that. Besides, if you go over 400, it kind of breaks the game regardless, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're a 60 years player and you want to compete with the other players, FPS bypass is the way to go. It's pretty convenient, it's really neat. I've been using 360 since that was allowed, that's what I've been playing Rust on. It's nice, just 
go for it. And that is the capabilities of Mega Hack V5. It's very, very nice. You get a lot of utility with it. It's definitely worth the $5. I can't see myself playing this game without Mega Hack V6 anymore. Like, I literally cannot play this game without it. I'm so reliant on stuff like Hyatt attempts to just make stuff better. The Mega, uh, the practice music hack, the uh, smart start position. I'm basically reliant on it to the point where I just can't live without it. Definitely recommend getting it. It's just so convenient. It's definitely worth it. I, I shouldn't be promoting use of hacks like this, but Mega Hack V6 is just quality of life. If Robtop would implement all of these to the game himself, I feel like the game would just be borderline perfect. It's absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. The last one I want to cover is something I've been using recently. I started using it towards the end of Nelv. It is why this or why do I suck? This right here is to me one of the absolute most convenient things to ever release and it's mostly because it's easy to keep track of stuff if we look at conical depression here uh the first level that i played fully using widest you can see my total play time for the level i spent 10 hours 51 minutes on it you can see my total attempt count and you can check my uh start position attempts you can check practice mode attempts you can check, check normal mode attempts if you want to see how many attempts I used in normal mode, I used 3,900 of my attempts in normal mode, and you can see every single death I had. I had 2,000 deaths to the first click, or first clicks, uh, expected. I have 8 to 55 in the first percentage. Then as you can see here, going into 5%, or 6%, I only had about 500 attempts. You can see how many drop attempts I had. Drop is about 20%. I had 70 attempts to the drop, and then you can see my biggest death choke, death point right here, which was 53%. You can see that I have a 28% pass rate. So you can very easily tell like where you struggle the most. And if I go into Rust here, which is what I'm currently playing, uh, which I have almost 30 hours of playtime in already, you can like very clearly tell where like your biggest choke wins are i have a 64 percent pass rate for four percent i have a 40 percent pass rate for 13 percent i have a 45 percent pass rate for 28 so on and so forth it's an incredibly convenient tool that i feel like a lot of more people should utilize especially high top players because it kind of like very clearly tells you how many times you use for instance i have 2000 attempts so far in practice mode or in normal mode for rust it's just very convenient a link to this will be in the description of the video so i highly do recommend you to check this out i think why this is one of the most convenient tools ever if we go to sessions here you can see here these are my different sessions 69 attempts normal mode here where you can like see where all my attempts go 73 percent pass rate for four percent which means i've been improving at four percent 50 percent pass rate for 13 percent which means i'm improving at that as well you very clearly tell like where things go wrong and what you have to work on and you can tell where your improvements come from as well as you see here with sigma interface this was like my practice run of it before i went into normal mode the day i beat it and i just kind of like went into it just practiced everything that i needed and then this was how i went about beating it i died like a few times here i died a few times here and there and there and there and there and then that was my last death and then just whoop 100 highly recommend using this i don't really have much more to say about why this is just a very convenient tool that you can use to just get a decent hold of how you're performing with a level really all i have to say and it also shows you like very clearly how many attempts you have from like diff different start positions like i have 3600 attempts in to uh rust from 50 percent i've been practicing it a lot same with like 43 i have 1500 attempts from here so it just it's a very good way to just see i mean very very handy very very neat i highly recommend why this and Mega Hack V6. I cannot play this game without them anymore. So link to them is gonna be in the description. Go check them out. Uh, go support Absolute and Axel, who made Widus. They really do deserve it. I'll see you guys around. Each green, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Have a good one, everyone.